guys hello welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel to all my new subscribers hello thank you for stopping by my name is mariam and i am so happy to have you on my channel please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and also please follow me on instagram i'll put the link somewhere on the screen i'll put the link somewhere on the screen i'll put the <laughs> not the link i'll put the what's it called the handle i'll put the handle somewhere on the screen please do follow me on instagram thank you guys so much let's just get right into the video your online personality is a bit different from your real life personality but they're actually not far from each other if you'd ask me i would say online personality is close to your real life personality online personality is who you are within you it is who you are online and on your phone sometimes people tend to be different people online because they feel they are on their phone they are in the comfort of their home they can say anything they want to say online people don't know them people can get to them and they feel they can just say anything they want to say online that's why we have online bullying cyber bullying because people are in the comfort of their homes say anything they want to say online people tend to be their true self online because they have because some people have social anxiety some are socially awkward and so when they are online they tend to express themselves more because they, they can't see you face to face they have time to think of what they what they want to say and and send it and so you find that some people you can meet them in real life in real life they can be boring they may not talk to you but then online you guys are talking you guys are texting back and forth back and forth i remember in in secondary school then when we had to go okay some people I was in art class, class and there are some guys in science class that do you know we never we never even said hi in school but when we get home we are on the phone texting back and forth we're on facebook we are to go texting back and forth like but then when we resume school it's like mm, there's always that there's always that nod of i see you see me and we can like exchange hellos but that's it we don't even say anything i'm telling you like there's this friend of mine that we never ever spoke in school maybe maybe we did but i can't even remember but we never even said hello hi or anything but then we started talking um when was it we started talking 2020 we started talking 2020 and guess what we became like best of friends we were always texting back and forth video calls like like wait hold on me, me, you mean the whole time we never even said hi or hello we became friends and now online we're like best buddies online it happens that way but again i feel the reason why people tend to be very chatty open online because they are online, they are on their phones, they have the time to think of what to say and they can express their feelings, what they feel, what they think about something freely compared to how they would in real life. But then your online personality says a lot about you. It says a lot about who you are or what you think, your morals, your attitude. Thing is, don't give people a bad impression about you online online people got jobs people were able to get jobs online just from what they do what they tweet people also lost their jobs online because of what they do what they tweet what they do online and so there is the bad side and the good side just don't give people a bad impression about you don't go saying oh online i can do this i can do that but in real life i'm this and that honey listen some people won't even won't even think that they just think what they see online i have read a story online that she and this guy they got talking they met online they were talking talking texting back and forth phone calls video calls facetime and so they decided to meet up 
in real life. Do you know, she said, in real life, they had nothing to talk about. But I was like, wait, what? Like, I feel, I don't know, I don't know how, but I just feel, how can it be that, it could be that in real life, they, they, don't, they, they have anxiety, they have nothing, like, they just don't know what to say. There's a reason why sometimes people get asked you about your social, because they kind of want to know who you're friends with, who you're talking to, what you do online. It's actually important. One thing people tend to forget is that the internet does not forget. The internet does not forget. You can say something now, you can post a picture, you would forget, and 10 years later, that thing will come back and haunt you. Cases where people said some things, they talked about some things about 10 years ago, they thought everyone has forgotten, but we have people, hmm, people that will go to your page, they will go and look for all the things you said look for that particular one and bring it back up like people are crazy like that i'm telling you so just be careful of what you do online what you post what you say because the internet does not forget people don't forget and i'm telling you guys people right now on the internet are looking for attention they can say anything they want to say just to get attention for people so remember online it's not everything you talk about there are some things, like me personally, there are some things that if I see people talking about it, I just look and pass. Like, it's not everything. You don't have to give your opinion on anything. Everyone has an opinion. Everybody wants to give an opinion on something. Everyone feels he or she is a master in something. And people should listen to their opinion or what they have to say. You don't have to give people your opinion. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. One thing people are forgetting is that... Our real life relationship with other people matters a lot. How you interact with people physically matters a lot. Please try and meet up in real life because you kind of want to know the real person because I believe there is so much more to someone. There is so much more you can know about someone in real life, in person, than online. So when you meet people like in real life, they're like bubbly, chatty, and like you feel the vibe but online they can be so boring you find out that you find out that in real life some people cannot even hold conversations but online you guys are texting back and forth that's because they have time to actually think of what to reply and send maybe they they they, have, they are nervous that's why maybe they can't hold conversations but then knowing people on a personal level matters a lot and also online we should please try and show empathy like there are so many people that they, they're so many online mostly because you can't even see who you're talking to there is no eye contact and they just say what they want to say online i remember this incident that happened on twitter when the train got attacked there was this lady who tweeted that she got shot do you know the comments she got people were like is she actually shot? Can we see the wound? Like, so many mean, mean comments. And do you know, a few hours after that tweet, she actually died? And then people had listened to comments that are feeling bad for, for, for what they said. I mean, please, if you cannot show empathy, don't comment. Don't say anything. Just move on. Your online personality is actually not different from your real life personality because that shows this is actually who you are. Your online personality shows your morals, your attitude. It's who you are within you. I mean, having a good online personality can go a long way. Like, I can't even count the number of friends that I made online. Like, I have lots of friends that I first met online before we even met, like, in real life. And we're, like, so... We, and we're, like, good friends right now. The internet has its good side and bad side. But look at the good side. Like, we got to talk to so many people that we didn't even think we will talk to. We got to be friends with so many people we didn't even think we'd be friends with because of the internet. So many people got jobs from what they do online. I mean, if you read books online, you can post those books. If you, you make music, you can post them online. People got jobs online. 
and so many people also lost their jobs online because of what they do what they post and so we should just be mindful of what we do online because um, the, uh, because our online personality matters okay people be saying people be saying oh online and this online and that in real life and this honey people meet you first online and so they will take it that this is who you are in real life because if you would ask me i would say our online personality is actually not far from our real life personality because it is who we are within us you know on twitter everyone has a degree has a master's is a doctor is a professor on one thing or another because everyone has an opinion about something okay we have people with degrees when it comes to marriage and counseling when it comes to divorce when it comes to relationship when it comes to parenting when it comes to thoughts everyone has a degree on twitter everyone is a doctor in something Everyone is a professor in something. Everyone has an opinion about something. And so it's not everything people tweet, people say online that you would believe. Because nine times out of ten, people don't practice what they preach. They will tweet, oh, do this, oh, do that. But in real life, they are doing the opposite. But don't forget to have a good impression online as well. I have come to the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.